for a while now I'm working on getting this rotary encoder that's coming out of a mouse scroll wheel. I'm trying to make that work with a number of microcontrollers and this time I'm going to try to do that with the Texas Instruments Hercules family. So this is a Hercules RM46 launchpad. It has an EQEP module which is a quadrature encoder and I'm going to try to uh, make this uh, rotary encoder uh, work with that module and get the count of my turns out of the microcontroller. Several of the Hercules Launchpad microcontrollers have a dedicated module to uh, capture uh, rotary encoder information and that module is called EQEP. You can see in the technical reference manual what the EQEP stands for. It's too difficult to pronounce for me. But the documentation is quite good. It explains the whole principle of uh, encoding and decoding and how the peripheral is handling that. And to make a rotary encoder work with Halkogen is not that difficult. So in the Halkogen, the hardware abstraction layer code generator tool, uh, you have to do a few things and you're almost done. You have to enable that uh, EQEP driver. And in the pin mux, the multiplexer, you have to set that you are going to use the EQEP pins and it will automatically mark all the EQEP pins as uh, set. And then on the EQEP tab, uh, you have to do a few settings. We're going for quadrature count. I'm leaving uh, several things as they are. Uh, we're counting here to uh, 3600 and the mid position is uh, uh, 1800. We enable software initialization and that means that the first time we capture an event it will automatically uh, initialize to this value. And at regular times the value of the counter will be written into a latch register based on the settings here. In Code Composer Studio we don't do a lot. We enable the quadrature encoder module, we enable the counter, the unit timer and the capture. And then each time when we check in the register that there is something latched, we read that latched value and log it to the output window. The program is running here, so I'm going to turn to the right and we'll see that it's counting up. I'll turn to the left now and we'll see that the thing is counting down. So that works.